personal website. I've been working on my personal website since we were living in Ohio, which is like almost two years ago. I think it's really hard for me to finish projects, like start and finish a project, specifically my personal website, because I can't decide on what design approach I wanna go for. Part of that is because I hold myself to higher expectations when it comes to front end and design. And I don't wanna release anything that like is ugly or not cohesive. Funny thing is when I look at other people's personal websites, I have like zero judgment. I actually like when the websites are less cookie cutter and more personal. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about how New York City saved my tech career. I had been working in the tech industry for a few years, but I felt like I was stuck in a rut back when I was living in Ohio. At the time, I remember kicking myself because back when I was in college, I was set on working for a Silicon Valley based tech company. So I really only entertain Silicon Valley based like San Francisco tech companies when I would go to these like massive career fairs like the Nesby National Convention. And fast forward a few years, I actually realized that I would prefer to live in New York City and work a tech job in like Manhattan, like that was a dream. But I wasn't getting the opportunities that I wanted to pursue and I wasn't sure what steps I needed to make to get my foot into the door to a tech company based in New York City. Also noticed that it was much more difficult trying to get a job at a major tech company as a college grad versus when I was applying to internships while in college. Fast forward to now, I decided to move to New York City by way of New Jersey after landing a role in New York City, but it's technically remote. So I first got a job at JP Morgan as a front end software engineer in Jersey City. And that was my ticket into the East Coast or into the New York City metro area. I knew it would be a big change, but I had no idea just how much it would change my career. One of the biggest benefits of living in New York City is the networking opportunities. There are so many tech events, meetups, and conferences happening all the time. Most of my friends in the city either work in finance or tech or a combination of both. So I definitely think this city is booming with opportunities in tech. And if you look on sites like Glassdoor and LinkedIn, you'll see that most of the major tech companies have offices. When first moving to the New York City metro area, I made it a point of emphasis to make sure that I network with as many people as possible. I met so many amazing people in the industry and was also able to create some really viable connections throughout my journey. Especially as a tech content creator, I've had the wonderful opportunity of attending a lot of events the past few months and building relationships with people who work for some of my favorite brands. These events then led to the connections that have opened up a lot of doors for me as a creator. So I remember back in the end of like senior year, I was applying to, or I had applied to a role with, I think it was Goldman Sachs. And I remember an interviewer asking me this question that really stood out because no one had ever asked me a question like this before. And it was basically, how do you expect or will you be able to adapt to the New York lifestyle moving from where you currently are based? And I remember being thrown off by that question because I didn't think it was as important as my skill sets and qualifications for this role. I definitely didn't get that job. So then I ended up kind of creating this theory that since I didn't live in New York City, it was gonna be much more difficult for me to land some of these roles with these major tech and finance companies by not living in New York City. So employers didn't necessarily wanna hire me because they didn't wanna worry about whether or not I would be able to adapt to this very different lifestyle of living in New York. I definitely can't say whether or not that my theory is true, especially since I meet so many people that work in tech in New York City are not from New York City. But one thing I can say is ever since I changed my location to the New York City metro area on LinkedIn, I almost exclusively get inbound job opportunities for New York City based companies, which is night and day to my experience living in Ohio. So moving here has definitely opened up a lot more opportunities for me just by being in the area, which also feels kind of weird saying that because 
there's so many remote jobs and there's so many people who migrate to different cities for jobs. I could be totally off on this. I'm just telling you what my experience is. Also, naturally, the companies that I've worked for in the New York City metro area have much bigger names or have a really great impact on the tech industry, which will in turn boost my portfolio or my credibility. There are so many different industries and art forms represented here from fashion to music to film. And I find that all of these things inspire me in my own work. Whenever I'm feeling stuck or uninspired, I just take a walk around the city and I'm always able to find something that sparks my creativity. Moving to New York City was a big step for me. And in the process of moving, it felt kind of risky. And obviously we were a little nervous about just packing up our comfortable life in Ohio and moving to this behemoth of a city. It turned out to be one of the best decisions I've ever made, the best decision I've made for my career. The networking opportunities, diverse job market, and creative inspiration I found here have all helped me grow both personally and professionally. If you're feeling stuck in your career, I highly recommend considering a move to the city that never sleeps or a city you can see yourself thriving in. Who knows, it just might be the best thing you ever do for your career. My perspective is, what's life without risk? And if you don't go after your dreams or aspirations, you won't actually know what you're capable of doing. With that said, that wraps up today's video. I'll see you all soon. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. 